The first step is going to be to open up an internet browser. I use Google Chrome. You can use Safari or Mozilla Firefox. They all work pretty much the same. You're going to want to go to appleid.apple.com. Click reset your password. And then you're going to want to give the email address that you use as your Apple ID. You'll want to put your birth date. Sometimes it won't ask if you never gave it when you made the account. I did. As you'll notice, it was recently my birthday and I do accept gifts. So there's two options for recovering your password. Security questions is good if you actually remember them. I've helped about 40 or 50 people and not a single one of them has remembered them. So I usually go with email authentication. They just send a link to your email address that will link to a password creation page on Apple's website. So now all I have to do is wait for that email to be sent. As uh, some of you guys might figure out, it might not go to the email address that you have set up as your Apple ID. It might send it to your recovery email, which it did ask you to make. Uh, so I would check all of your email accounts if you're not finding it in the standard email address. And it looks like it came in. There it is. So we'll click reset now. Now I will make a new password. Click reset. Yeah, I'll save it. Whenever I do that, it saves it to my iCloud keychain. That means that on any of my Apple devices, I'll no longer have to remember that password. It'll just make it easier in case I forget it and uh, I won't have to go through this whole process again.